Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid Swollen Specialist account. Every 75 raids I can go for one of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. You know why? I was too scared to finish it because like... Oh, do you see? Purple. That means I'm going to probably go hella dry at TOB today. So yeah, there we go boys. Oh, the arcane! No! I wanted a deck scroll. Come on man, triple sevens dude. And cleared this round. New champion! Yo, Crusader level 1. You might be wondering which game I'm playing on my phone right now. Well, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Raid's Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new collection RPG game. Almost 10 million players worldwide have downloaded the game within just 3 months. It has great graphics, an amazing storyline, strategic gameplay, huge boss fights, and over 400 champions for you to collect and customize. My favorite champion is the Crusader because he is a strong meta character and can do combo attacks with his ally using his move called Rally. Check out the details on these champions. Oh Everyone can find something for themselves as there are a variety of ways to enjoy the game. Some, like me, are down for conquering through the fierce campaigns in raids to make my favorite champion stronger. I also love the auto fighting feature during campaign runs. This game is in fact free to play. With more than 200,000 reviews, raids has almost a perfect score on the play store. The highly anticipated new update is now live and there is a new loyalty program for new players. Get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days in the game. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on that special link, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of your new player program to start your journey. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Oh man, it's the defeats. It's time to find a new source of money because I only got one mil left. Uh, so this is my strategy. You see these battle staffs? 3,000. Let me show you some other stuff, all right? This is a blast from the past. Dun-dun, 740 fire orbs, okay? Guess where that's from? My 1,000 Cerberus kills to get my Primordials. All righty. 741 battle staffs. 6.7 million. That's gonna last me uh, a week. What? 75, 75, dude, your career is over. Alright, oh, no, nothing. Alright, well, it's official. 190 dry. This one's pretty cool. Oh my god, this is insane, bro. Holy shit, that was insane. Comp froze at the worst time. Oh, someone got a purple, dude. And it's not me. Is it Mary? It has to be Mary J. No, it's Jaws. Aw, oh, rest in peace. Uh oh, uh oh, what is it? 1919? <sighs> There it is! I've broken Mary J's dry streak. 197 dry. Hell yeah! Let's go. Alright, time to use another whip. I'm probably gonna go AFK some uh, Absolute Demons though. Because it looks like they might be running kind of close on these bad boys. Also need it in the future anyways for uh, some God Wars, so. Good. 81 agility. First level from the Relica course. Just trying to do these whenever I need to get marks, really. Anyways, we are hecka low on the darts life like, once again. Freaking 800 left, yeah. So hopefully 10,000 will last me a month. I'm using the blowpipe like crazy, so. You know what's crazy? I didn't buy a single one of these feathers in the store. I got all these feathers, uh, probably even more, just from bird houses. Hold on, I just hit the 80... Three hunter. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy! Alright, if any of y'all found a dragon impling out there, do let me know because I'm gonna grab those uh, dragon implings, get those darts, you know, for them speedrunning uh, adventures coming up. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty fun. I'm excited for that. Yeah, P3 is so good. Oh, damn, bro. I'm a 201 dry, dude. 
Dude, what you just hit? That was insane. Alright. 2277, you've maxed the theater of blood. Alright, so my first ever Crystal Halley, fully degraded at like 200 um, TLB, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself, honestly, uh, two, just cause I figure I'm gonna need more than one at this rate. Oh shit, you just hit 84, what the fuck? Show me... No way, boys, 210 drops. Holy shit, that's insane. Oh, someone got a purple, alright. Who's who's it? It's not Mary J. Oh, okay. Newcomer's got a purple. Oh, that's like my seventh hill that I've seen. Alright, boys. Oh, what? who got the purple? What the fuck, Ferg, you died? Yo, I didn't even die this raid. Oh, okay, all right, that's like eight. That's like number eight, bro You got a purple really? Oh Man, that's crazy man. What is it? Ah, oh, face guard okay. Damn bro, that's hilarious dude What? Okay, what is this? <laughs> oh wait, that's not bad. That's good. What the hell, man? That's freaking good! Alright, congratulations, man. I'm out it. I'm using my MB heart. Oh, I just got 97 defense! Yeah, buddy! Introducing to you a new episode of Hoarders. What?! That thing is so true, I can't believe it. Mm, it's taking a while. Oh, that was pretty good. I haven't done like a nice poison run in forever. Okay. All right, we're gonna try our first ever uh, personal best run attempt with pre-scout my boy OP Tails Goddess. Tech told me about crab, guardian rope. This is one of the harder ones to PB because you don't really get much food. I'm only looking at one extra brew from muted out. So we got the tentacle whip because that is my best DPS weapon at all. Far surpassing that of the Hosta. And I have the Din's Bulwark to help me bypass the Mercenary Rangers and Majors. I'm just gonna tank them with the Din's on defensive. Get the crystal, open the door. I also brought a lot of brews because I will need it to no prep this run. And also, I'll get a lot of restores anyways for Meteor Dial and Tecton, so I don't need to bring a lot of restores. And what are something different here? Uh, we got ourselves Dragon Bolts this time. Just in case I need a clutch, I want to be mostly camping the crossbow so the Dran Diamond Bolts would be a bit more safe. Let's give it a try now. Alright, cool. I had to wait. Let's go. Hopefully Tekton goes by quick. Because if it doesn't go by quick, chance of PVing goes down a lot too as well. Damn it, this Tekton's not going so well. Landed two specs, but didn't do as much as I would like. God damn, bro. You want to calm down? Actually, I can just... Yeah, just go with this. Alright. Five brews. Damn. I got destroyed, dude. Alright, this is it. Moment of truth. Time to tank the boss. Holy shit, the tank. Keep tanking! Keep tanking, keep tanking! Come on, Dins. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. We got here at 1034. Alright. If I do an 11 minute ohm, I should be able to beat the times. I just need to do an 11 minute ohm. No, where the frick is it? Okay. Oh, wait, why did I just whip? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Great, I just whip specs. Max it. Oh my god, the whip is so freaking strong. Jesus Christ, dude. Man. Like, Hasta who? Dang it, this sucks. He threw the... Oh my god, that's so unlucky, man. Honestly, so freaking unlucky. Come on. Finish it off, dub. Oh, that's so unlucky. Dang it, man. Why did it put that poison there? 
Oh, I only got like one brr. Br <laughs> that should be okay. Hopefully. So I only have one brew to finish off the third phase and the head phase and my goal is to carry this brew all the way to the head phase because during the third phase I will try my best to take no damage at this boss whatsoever through a strategy generally called 4-0. So essentially I'm just constantly attacking between the magic hand and the melee hand using like a rubber band effect mechanic which I'm not gonna go into detail because it'll take forever to allow me to switch between the magic hand and melee hand and do damage back and forth without taking any damage. The goal is to get both the magic and the melee hand of course down to near zero and then clear it and then carry on the final phase with that one brew and hope for the best. I gotta be careful. I, only, I have like no food so I have to be really careful. Okay I have two minutes to clear the head phase so Oh, wow, 54. Holy crap. Oh my god, what is that? 66. Oh, baby. I can hit higher than that, I'm pretty sure. 21 minutes? I should be able to do this. Wow, I should be able to. Go blowpipe. I should be able to do that. Pop it? Nice, there we go. We did it! This is the part of a pre-scout raid. Damn, dude. That's crazy. 22, 33. I, I beat it by almost a whole minute. Wow. But well, that's nice. We did it. Alright. We can beat this one uh, if we get like a uh, Vespila Tecton Fossa layout or something, probably. I don't have to worry so much on food. But this is our first ever attempted speedrun, and yeah. There's a lot of room for improvement, though. though. In terms of, especially the logistics part of it. But... That was fun. That was fun. I'm down to do that again. Alright, so my boy Ricky found us an interesting raid here that potentially can beat the time. This one's crazy though. Uh, risky, but I do have some food here in Fispula. So I gotta fly through Mitadal, Crabs, Guardians, no problem, Fispula, and then hopefully survive tanking the Jody Room. And with that being said, I should be in the clear, possibly for a... Maybe even a sub-20, you know? Alright, we got ourselves uh, under 5 minutes for the first floor, so that's pretty solid, I guess. So far, so good. Oh, wait, 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 I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to put on my Din's Bulwark. Wait, what? I don't have space? Shit. Ah, oh, god dang it. That was dumb. I might die because of that. Yikes. Monka. Okay, yeah, my my skipping was a was pretty bad. Okay, four brews. It's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, okay. Honestly, that felt slow. This first phase felt pretty slow. I really needed the whip to hit, but it didn't hit anything. I would say it was sloppy. You know, the biggest problem was Ulm, dude. This Ulm was just bad RNG. I just couldn't hit. Took me over 12 minutes to do this all. Alright, so after that failed attempt, I got another attempt by Mr. Solo Ohm here. He's got Mystic, Good Crabs, into Shamans, into Mutadao. So the only food I got is Mutadao, which is one food. So this is going to be even harder than last time. But this is overall probably faster than last raid. Salve for the Skeletons. Uh, that's something that is specific to this layout for speedruns, so let's give it a try. Holy shit, I'm hitting. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Salve is so busted, dude. This room's gonna be done in like a fraction of the time. <laughs> oh shit. That's not good, man. Can't believe that got hammered into the wrong spot cost me a good amount of time. Okay, well at least downtime is 4 minutes, which is the best downtime we've ever had. Go, go, go! This time I'm doing it a lot faster, so. Oh shit, 72 HP, I might die. <laughs> please don't die, please don't die. Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! 
That was so freaking close. Holy frank. Oh my lord. Got my heart beating there. A lot. Alright. Eight minutes. Eight minutes and 30 seconds, man. Alright, we're gonna go down in under nine minutes. Let's go. Don't fail me, whip. Oh wait, I don't have a spec. Ah, shit. I hope I can make up for it. Oh, shoot. I got lucky there. I had the wrong shield on and I still landed a spec. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright. On to third phase with 15 minutes on the clock. Yes! And the freaking ruby bolt. Oh my god. Oh, another one? Damn, this is gonna be insane PB, boys. Addy darts. I should have brought dragon, honestly. Oh, damn, boys! Beautiful, dude. That was nice. Not a bad PB. Smashed uh, the PB by like two minutes, though, so I'll freaking take it. Nice. Oh, what? I actually got a purple. Oh, my goodness. I was feeling somewhat of a dry streak, you know, coming up. Alright, here we go, boys. Oh, baby! A Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Third? Yeah, third Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Cool. Oh, no! God damn it. Please. Turn it red. Yes! That was so clutch. Did I have a bow before? Uh, on my main? Oh, wow! <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm going 270 dry at TLB tonight, you know? Shit. I'm feeling an RK, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, my second ever mega rare. Ah, uh, and it's another stupid Kodai. Oh, that's amazing. Imagine, imagine my second ever mega rare, dude. Alright, so I do have my point tracker Excel sheet where I keep track of all my drops and every single raid that I've done in terms of the points. So ever since getting our second mega rare, we're now at 26 million points. Which is pretty crazy, because if you're just talking about like one specific mega rare, whether it's the mall, the cold eye, or the twisted bow, which is 1 in 30 million, I'm getting really, really close. Just 4 million more points than I'm at the average for a specific one of those. So we're also averaging about a little bit over 30,000 points of raid. As you can see, most of my raids are a bit over 30,000, a few occasional deaths, but overall still 30k plus on average a raid. So if you scroll all the way down, this is where our current progress lies. Code eye number two. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to wrap up. I gotta go make some gains at the theater with the boys and hopefully break this dry streak at the theater. We're over 200 plus dry and I'm down to break it with anything. Hopefully a defender, that'd be great. And uh, again, thanks to Raids for sponsoring us today though, for real man. It helped me a ton with finances, so. And anyways, if you are new to the series, you wanna support the cause feel free to subscribe and bell this channel and all that good stuff and yeah i will see you guys soon hopefully with another video within a week got some exciting news to share on the next episode as well regarding mr iron bar and elf city and all that too look forward to it i'll see you guys later bye bye